It was a Black Sunday for members of St. Paul's Catholic Church in Adabra Saugolo Okwe Council area of Delta State. The almost 100-year-old church building collapsed during service and killed an 11-year-old boy, while a few others sustained injuries. Ovietame George has more details. Two men struggling to bring out a motorcycle beside the failed structure, while others search for valuables belonging to the church. St. Paul's Catholic Church at Dagrasa Ugolo collapsed during Sunday service, but the swift response of rescuers saved the worshippers. An 11-year-old boy, Jeffrey Enukanari, was not that fortunate, leaving his father in grief. Suddenly, we had a noise boom, and everybody rushed out. Uh, you know, as a father, I have to look, uh, make sure we rescue everybody. Or knowing to me that my son is evil there. Uh, I, my, I met my son. You know, he's an instrumentalist. He's playing the jazz band. We were playing jazz band there. He's a son of, uh, uh, let me say, 11 years. This is the proposed model of St. Paul Catholic Church here in Adagrasa. But before the building could be completed, the old one caved in, summing up a sad story on a black Sunday. The building is almost 100 years, and uh, the church, we are even planning to celebrate uh, 100 years anniversary this year, let's say by December, first week of December. That's why we are working on. We are even set up a committee to plan for that before this ugly incident occurs. But we I thank God that I survived it among, of, among those that survived it. So I, I thank God for the gift of life. The Delta State Chairman of the Nigerian Institute of Building says the almost 100 years old structure was doomed to fail. The building lifespan has expired. And the second thing I think I saw here, the engineer in charge of this job did a very shoddy job. I don't know if he's an engineer, but I think it was have been a direct labor. If you look at what is happening here, all these excavations that we had done for the concrete foundation, the concrete foundation works, we are exposed to rain and they became waterlogged. Both the right side wall and the back wall. Then we noticed that due to the waterlogged area of this place, the wall gave way because the building is old. And if you look at the building walls, they have no piers, they have no column. So the failed structure, if you ask me simply, the construction methodology that was used in constructing this new wall was the problem. And that was where the failure came from. <laughs> the pain of losing a loved one leaves this girl practically inconsolable. But while nothing can be done to bring the dead back to life, the Delta State government has promised to foot the bills of the injured in hospital. The governor is very, very sad about it. And so my being here is to extend the governor and the state condolence to the victims, especially the father of the boy that lost his life in course of the incident. And also to also visit those who are hospitalized and see the extent of injury they've sustained and how government can intervene to assist them with their medical bills. And that we intend to settle immediately. That we are going to take care of the medical bills. I will write them off. Vestiges of a building that could have been 100 years, but it couldn't wait and caved in. But it is a black Sunday. One life lost, but many survivors. And now the people can only start from here hoping that someday the new structure will be in place and wipe away the memory of a tragic Sunday. Ovieteme George, TVC News, Adagrasa Ogolo, Okpe Local Government Area, Delta State. A truly tragic there.